Some of you will already know I was on holiday last week. We had a week skiing in France with the kids. Alex, my girlfriend, is an experienced skier having lived in Grenoble for a year. And Izzy, her daughter, has been doing lessons at Chill Factor. Me and the boys have never been before though. The complete lack of common sense between us meant we took to it pretty well. Jamie flat out refused to apply the brakes, stoke snowplow at any point, and consequently took out multiple children on the training slope. And Ollie was all over it. He was on blue slopes on day four, and the highlight of the holiday for me was doing the longest blue with him, dropping 500 meters over about a couple of miles side by side. But at the same time, it was a really hard week. As any parents will know, Shlope can imagine, a three, four and five year old can be hard work. Ollie doesn't stop talking for more than 30 seconds from waking up to going to bed. Jamie is a perpetual motion machine, constantly moving stroke trashing stuff. Izzy likes things exactly her way and can melt down quickly if things aren't quite as she wants them. They're often annoying or attacking each other and whinge far, far more than we would like. It can be hard to really enjoy the good times because something less good was happening only 30 seconds ago or was just around the corner. But we make a concerted effort to enjoy the fun stuff with them as much as possible. As the wanted sang in Gold Forever, when the innocence is dead and gone, these will be the times we look back on. That's even the screensaver on my phone and the soundtrack to the little video I made of our holes. I sometimes worry I'm not enjoying the children enough. I've heard many older parents comment they wish they'd enjoyed their children's youth more. So we try our hardest to get the most out of the time we get with them. It's the same for everyone, I think. Kids or not, we need to make an effort to enjoy the life we have. From my experience, people who don't enjoy their lives as they are, don't usually enjoy them more when they manage to make the changes they think will make them happier. Losing weight, toning up, new job, kids becoming easier, etc. Whatever life you're living now, work to enjoy it as much as you can and forget about the imperfections. I promise you, you'll enjoy it even more if you do then manage to change them. Much love, John did a red run on the last day haul and Matt learned to ski in Italy, Nicholson.